Hello pupils and welcome to my lesson. My name is Sigal and I'm going to be your English teacher today. I hope you'll have fun and enjoy. So, I want to ask you, can you read words with long A? Can you read short sentences? And what is a long A? We're going to see what it is today. So, what are we going to do today? What will we do? We will answer a riddle. We will play a short game. We will learn to read words with long A sound. We will read short sentences and we'll even make a game. So are you ready? Let's begin. What do I, I need for my lesson? I want you to bring a sheet of paper, a notebook or something that you can write on, a pencil, and some markers or crayons, whatever you have that is next to you. You have one minute to bring all these things. Okay, I hope you have everything next to you and I want to start. Let's start with something different. I have a short riddle for you. Okay, guess who I am? I eat mice. I am very long. I have sharp teeth. And I say, Sss. what am I? Who am I? What animal am I? Do you know? Let's see, I'm very long. Do you know what animal this is? Okay, I'm a snake. It's a snake. Good. Now I want to play a short game with you. Listen to me. Whenever I, I, I'm going to say sentences to you now, and whenever the sentence is true for you, I want you to stand up. If it's not true for you, you have to sit down. Sit down and stand up. This is the game. You have to listen to me and see. If it's true for you, if it's yes, you have to stand up. If it's no, you sit down. Okay? So let's go to the first sentence. I love snakes. I love snakes. If you like snakes, stand up. Okay, we'll go on to the next sentence. I like to play games. I like to play games. If you like to play games, stand up. Today is Sunday. Is it Sunday today? If today is stand, Sunday, stand up. If no, sit down. I can see a plane. I want you to look outside. If you can see a plane, stand up or here. If not, just sit down. I love to eat cake. Mm, I love to eat cake. If it's true for you, stand up. And the last sentence, I can bake a cake. Can you bake a cake? And put it in the oven. If you can bake a cake, stand up. Great, so that's all. This is the game and we're going to continue on now. So what did we learn? What do we know till now? We know that whenever we have the letter A in the middle of the word, we read it as, as a, just like in the word cat and bat and man, hat, mat, fat. These are words that have a in the middle and you read it as a, okay? We also learned that if an a 
has another letter with it if the A is not alone. So you read it by its name. You read it as A. You can hear the, na the name of the letter A in the word. Just like in the words day, say, way, play, spray, may, and re. These are words that end with A, Y, and you can hear the name of the letter A in these words. Today we're going to learn something new. We're going to learn the magic E. Whenever the letter A, whenever there's a word with A that you have a silent E at the end, it's called a magic E because it makes us read the letter A by its name. You say the name of the, of the letter in the word. And I want to show you what I mean. We're, you, we're used to read hat, right? This is hat. But if we put the magic E at the end, we will read the letter A by its, the, the name of the letter. We're going to say hate, hat, hate. The magic E helps us read it hate. Another example, tap, tape. We can hear the A, tape. We, we can hear the letter A in the word tape, the name of the letter A, tape. Can, cane, the magic E helps us. Mad, made. Rat, rate. Okay, and the last word at and ate. Again, the magic E helps us read the word and we read the A by its name, not by its sound. So let's see what words we know with magic E. Snake, you can see the A and the E, snake. Cake. Plain. Game, I'm sure you like to play games together. Game. Bake. You see the E in bake? It makes us read the A by its name. Bake. We say the letter, the name of the letter A. Bake. Grape. I see. I like to eat grapes. And this is a small grape here. I can see the small grape also. Now, I want you to look for the word. What is in the picture? What can you see here? It's a snake, right? So what word is the word snake? Where can you find the word snake here? Snake, snake. This is the word snake. Good. Let's go on to the next word. This is the picture of, what is this? It's a cake, cake. So can you find me the word cake? Cake, cake, cake. Here is cake. Okay, do you remember this word? It flies in the sky. What is it? It's a plane. Plane, look for the word plane. Here is plane, great. The next word. Okay, something that you like to play. This is a game. Look for the word game. Here is the word game. Great. Okay, now you have a picture and two words. Tell me what word is the word of the picture. This is a picture of a mat. Which one of the two words is mat? This is mat, right? It's a short A. We read it A, mat. Plain. Which of the two words is plain? Plain. We can hear the name of the letter A inside. Plain. This is plain. Very good. With a silent E at the end. The magic E that helps us read it plain. Oh, this is a new word for us. It's a cane. Cane. Can you find the word cane? You can hear the word A in cane. So where is it? 
This is cane. Good, the magic E helps us read it as A, cane. Hat. Which word of the two is hat? This is hat. Excellent. Next word. Okay, what are they doing together? They bake. Bake. Where is bake? This is easy, right? Because the other word is not the same. Bake. It starts with B. Bake with A in the middle. Bake. Great. Now, we're going to read some sentences with the A, with the magic E. Okay? So let's start. Look at the girl. She's so cute. This is Kate. And she says, Hey, my name is Kate. My name is Kate. Okay, look at the snake. The snake ate. The snake ate a cake today. The snake ate cake today. I'm sorry. The snake ate cake today. Mmm, it was very good. He ate. A, it ate a cake. Okay, this is Jane. And this is a cave. Jane is in a cave. Jane is in a cave. This is a lake. You see, it's, it's a place of, where you have water. This is a lake. And I can see, I see a snake in the lake. Do you see the yellow snake? I see a snake in the lake. Oh my God, a snake in the lake. Now where is the snake? The snake is on the plane. What's going on with the snake? Now the snake is on the plane. Okay, now I want you to read the sentence and fill in the missing words. These are sentences that we just read together. So read it to yourself. I'll help you. Jane is in a... Where is Jane? In what is she? Is she in a plane? Or in a snake? No. Jane is in a cave. Jane is in a cave. Cave is the correct answer. Let's go on to the next sentence. The M is in the lake. What is in the lake or who is in the lake? Let's see. Do we have a plane in the lake? Is Jake in the lake? Or is there a snake in the lake? What's the missing word? The snake is in a lake. Let's go on. My M is Kate. My M is Kate. My what? My name is Kate. My name is Kate. This is the correct answer. My name is Kate. Okay, what do you see in the picture? Mm. It's very long, right? What is it? The snake ate cake today. The snake ate cake today. Do you remember what the snake ate? The snake ate what today? The snake ate cake today. Okay, here we have the word cake again. Who is on the plane? The M is on the plane. Who is on the plane? Or what is on the plane? The snake is on the plane. The snake is on the what? Where is the snake? The snake is on the plane. Okay, the snake is on the plane. Okay, now look at this sentence. Where is the snake now? Oh, the snake is everywhere. The snake is on the... What do you have there? The snake is on the... 
cake. Now the snake is on the game. The snake is on the game. Good. Tali and Gal, mm, a cake. What do they do? Tali and Gal, what do they do with a cake? Do they game? Do they snake a cake? No. Tali and Gal bake a cake. They bake a cake. Now, I want you to find what rhymes with the word game. We have game. What rhymes, what ends just like in the word game? Look at the three words here. What rhymes with game? What ends just the same? Game rhymes with name. Game and name rhyme. They end, this, they end the same. Again, what rhymes with cake? What word rhymes with cake? Did you find the word? Okay, the word is snake. Cake and snake are rhyming words. What rhymes with cane? Can you find a word that rhymes with cane? Good, plain. Cane and plain are rhyming words. The last word, the word grape. Can you find a word that rhymes with grape? What ends the same? Grape rhymes with tape. They end the same. Grape, tape. So, what did we learn today? We learned about the magic E. The magic E helps us read the word. Whenever you see a magic E, it makes us read the word, the, the letter A, by its name. Just like in the following words. Hat becomes hate. Tap, tape, sorry, can, cane, mad, made, and rat, rate. It makes us read the word, the letter A, by its name. Now I want you to read these words. First of all, copy them to, the note, to your notebooks and you have two minutes and if you have time you can draw a small picture next to each word you copy to your notebook. You have two minutes to do this. These are words that we just learned today, so start working. Okay, so let's go over the words again. I hope you wrote them in your notebook. We have snake, snake, cake, 
Happy birthday to you. It's a cake. Plane. A plane that flies in the sky. Game. Let's play a game. And grape. Grape. I want you to make game now. I want you to take the sheet of paper that I told you before. I'm going to bring mine. One minute. This is my sheet of paper. Take your sheet of paper and make a snake and ladders game. Just like you see in the picture. You divide, the, the, you divide the, your page to numbers. You draw ladders, draw snakes, and put the words inside the squares. Put the word snake, cake, plane, game, bake, grape, cave, cane, whatever you want. You could put some of the words, you can put all of the words, whatever you want, and make a snakes and ladder game. You have three minutes to prepare your game, so start working and have fun. Bye for now. Okay, pupils, I hope you had enough time to create your game. And if not, you can continue on making your beautiful game and even play it with a friend or a brother or sister that you have at home. At the end of this lesson, now, you can read and write words with a long A. We call it A and not A. Long A is A. And you can read and understand short sentences. Okay, so thank you for watching my lesson and I hope to see you in the next lesson again. Goodbye for now.